Hello guys, welcome to JavaScript Interview Question Series. Find the series linked in the description. This is question number six. Write a polyfill for for each method in the array. Here we are iterating over this mon array with four elements using for each method. And this for each method is simply printing the value index in the array for each element. Now, do you know from where this for each is coming and why this is working like this? Let me click the console. Let me show that to you. For this line, we are printing the array.prototype and we are getting its property names. So if I expand it, you can see we have 36 items in this array and this array has arrays, properties and methods. So for example, we are using for each and you can see for each available. Okay. Now let's say I change it to my for each. And simply I get an error that my for each is not a function because this my for each is not present in this list. Okay. And now to add this my for each into this list, we have to write a my for each polyfill. Okay. What is a polyfill? Let's write that. You can see this list is coming from this array.prototype. So let's take that array.prototype and add my for each each method to it equals to a function okay and now the actual for each was here let me comment it out for a while for a time being and this one also so that we have a clear console now you can see when it was a original for each it was taking a callback with three values in it value index and array correct so we need the same callback here as well See the for each method basically iterate over the given array. Now, what's better than a for loop if you want to iterate over something? Correct. Let's write that i. Now, here I want to use the array dot length. Now, how do you I get this mern array here? The good thing is, whatever is present on the left side of this my for each method will be passed to the polyfill method as at this keyword so basically what i'm trying to say is here this is equals to whatever is present on the left side of my for each method which is mern array okay so here i can write this dot length and then i plus plus okay now we have the callback here so let's use the callback and call it so you can see we have three properties here so let's paste them here now the value how we can get the value when we have the array and the index so i can pass this i index we already have i and this array is this keyword with that our prototype for my for each method is ready let's save that and clear the console and let's uncomment it and save you can see this is working similarly to the for each method.